Hi, I'm Tommy. Thanks for tuning in and I uh, hope you enjoy the music tonight. Um, I'm here in support of my, my dear friends at a wonderful venue um, in Washington, D.C. Um, it's called The Birchmere and it's been a big part of my life and the lives of so many thousands of artists. Um, and um, these uh, independently owned venues are a big part of your culture of your music. Um, these places are really important. So, you know, thanks for your support. Um, and if, you know, if you want to support artists like Rob Ikes and, and Trey Hensley and myself, um, you know, you can just buy a bit of merchandise. Uh, everybody wins. It, you'll get something nice and someone will make a dollar. So that's what we're here to do, support each other and and uh, you know, try to to help out in these times where everyone is in need. That's for sure. So it's been a uh, a joy to be able to bring some music to. I didn't shave today, and I decided to just let my hair grow like this, just for fun. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to start out with this tune called "Song for a Rainy Morning." Jolly Swagman next. Let me just, well, I've got the capo on this position. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I was driving around England a few years ago and I had seen that uh, beautiful documentary uh, Living in a Material World, this, the uh, Martin Scorsese documentary on George Harrison. And I was so inspired and I started writing this song in my head and uh, I, I can do that. I, I can write without my instrument in my hand. Uh, I can write it all in, in my head. Anyway, uh, I had the song going and it was sounding all right. And uh, I started getting a little cocky and said to myself, well, what should I call this song? You know, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, Liverpool, where, where George is from, and, and uh, I'm going to be playing in that beautiful hall where the Beatles used to play. What am I going to call this song? And so my navigation said, in 500 metres, turn right on Hope Street. And I said... That's it right there, Hope Street. All right, ready? Here's a song from an early album. This is called uh, Timberlake Road. It's a special address. It's where 
Some very dear friends of mine live in Tennessee. Here we go. <coughs> This is a song called Lewis and Clark, and uh, most Americans know the history of Lewis and Clark. Um, I'm an Aussie who is uh, living here by choice, and I'm a US citizen now, very proud to be, um, and thank you for your warm welcome. Um, in Australia, nobody told us about Lewis and Clark, so I had to find out the hard way by appearing to be someone who didn't know anything about history. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was at the Lewis and Clark College up in Lake Oswego in, um, where is that? O Oregon, beautiful place. Anyway, uh, these folks were walking around like they were dressed um, from a, a Western movie. And I said, what's going on here? You're making a movie. And they said, uh, no, we're, we're going to walk the Oregon trails of Lewis and Clark. And I said... Uh, who are Lewis and Clark? And of course, that was met with some extreme laughter. And, um, and, and I, I was told to go down to the book sh bookstore and, and buy the journals of Lewis and Clark, and I did. And that inspired me so much. And uh, I wrote this next song I'd like to play for you, Lewis and Clark.
Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. How are you guys going? Cool. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? Well, howdy. I have a very dear friend here, one of my favorite guitar players on this planet, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. This is Mr. Trey Hensley right here. The man. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's play a little uh, a guitar boogie. Yeah, Arthur man. Smith from, uh, where, where is it? from South Carolina? I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. I met him many years ago. Uh, in fact, uh, Chet Atkins brought him out to the, the convention here <laughs> and I got to play guitar boogie with the original guy. <laughs> it's cool. one of the things I love about being in the music business. Anything can happen. <laughs> That's right, <laughs> at any time. <laughs> exactly. All right, you ready? Yeah, um, man. Out there? Yeah. One, two. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, so much fun. Yeah, buddy. Beautiful. You're the best, man. All right, I, I got a level. Let's take one. Okay, exactly. <laughs> um, should we do, um, do you want to just run down uh, Windy and Warm and you take a little yeah, solo man. in? Yeah, absolutely. I'll take the melody and then when you can play some harmonies. Sounds or, good. Or, and then take, get a yeah, solo man. in it. Yeah, sure. Who's on? Oh man, so much fun. <laughs> We're just making it up. <laughs> that was great. Well, that was fun. Yeah, man. Thanks for jamming, bro. Hey, thank you. We're, we, we are now officially not a duo anymore. <laughs> We're a trio. Here he is. Look at this guy. He just magically appeared. R Rob Ikes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. I do it every yeah. day. Good to be here. Thanks for, Good to be thanks here. for coming down. Hey, thanks for having us. Checking man. it out. Rob and Trey, you guys have been playing together a long time now. It's been a few years. Yeah. yeah. We've had great. some great times together on, we have, uh, we on have. stage. Man, oh, man. I live for those days. Hey, me too, man. <laughs> me too. Thankfully, the fun is still here yeah. in yes, our hearts. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I think it gets, it gets transmitted through the airwaves. And, Somehow. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to say, oh, I'm in the happiness business, but it's been pretty quiet lately. <laughs> um, I, I particularly want, wanted you to, to sing that Merle song that I, yeah, I, I love, Ramblin' Fever. All right. Shall we do it? Yeah. Let's do it. I had 
old thing on the same day on too long My ears can't stand to hear the same old song And I don't leave the highway long enough To fall down in the mud <laughs> Cause I've got rambling fever in my blood Yeah. Well I caught this rambling fever long ago yeah. When I first heard a lonesome whistle blow if someone said I ever gave a damn, they damn sure told you wrong. Cause I've had rambling fever all along. Rambling fever, the kind that can't be measured by degree. Rambling fever, there ain't no kind of cure for my disease. Well, there's times I'd like to bed down on the sofa And let some pretty lady rub my back He's getting serious, dude And spend the early morning drinking coffee What are we going to talk about? Talking about when I'll be coming back But I don't let no woman tie me down And I'll never get too old to get around yeah. I'm going to die along the highway and right away like some old highline pole Rest is the rambling fever in my soul yeah. Rambling fever The kind that can't be measured by degree Rambling fever There ain't no kind of cure for my disease And Trey Hensley, aren't they something else? Woo! <laughs> Let the smoke clear. Are we gonna pick a tune? You betcha. Mm -hmm. I think it was in uh, 
San Francisco yeah, that was, you surprised me with this. Well, I yeah, I mean, you surprised me by making me play on it. <laughs> but I love this piece, man. It's so Thank beautiful. You. And I was thinking about that show the other day because that was the first time we played with you and it was just magic. You know? Yeah, the so, Great American, no, not the Great American Music Hall, the Palace of Fine Arts. Palace of Fine Arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was such a fun night. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was really fun. So, uh, are we ready? No, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Um, it's never too late. Yeah. Uh, I wrote this song in the back of a Volkswagen uh, in the middle of winter in Poland. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Anticipating the birth of my, my uh, five-year-old. Oh, that's great. R Rachel. It's yeah. a beautiful piece. When I first heard it, it just went right here. And then uh, we were talking, that first show we did with you in San Francisco, yeah. we were talking about it, and you said, well, let's do it, and I've uh, been doing it ever since. I, l I love this piece. Yeah. Oh, thanks, brother. Uh, it's, what you bring to it is, is so special. Uh, thank you. Thank it, you. It really is. All right, I'll start this off, and you, you just make out you know what you're doing. Okay. okay.
unexpected ending, <laughs> but I liked it. <laughs> right. Thanks, brother. Hey, thank you, man. Beautiful. Always beautiful. a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Was everything okay? Yeah, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is an old song that uh, uh, I think I first heard uh, Sinatra do, and then I heard um, Chet and Merle Travis. That's the version that I heard. Oh, had. it's... Uh, yeah, that's that uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Here it is. If I had you. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Beautiful song. Thanks, brother. All right, thank you. Cool, thanks, brother. Uh, that was fun. Oh, yeah. This is Angelina, and Angelina is my middle daughter. She's 21 years old. She was born in England, and uh, she's tall and beautiful. And um, I, wanted, I wanted to write a song that spelled out her name, Angelina, four syllables. And so I ended up coming up with this. Angelina, come to your daddy's arms. Angelina, I'll keep you safe from harm. Sit on your papa's knee Angelina Don't you go too far from me Don't you go too far 
from me. Beating heart by Angelina. All right. Now, this is another song that I wrote, and um, uh, I'm an ambassador for a, a wonderful organization here in the, in the United States. It's called guitars for vets and basically we we raise money we buy guitars uh, in bulk and a man or a woman who's served their, their country and needs our love and support is given a, a free lesson every week and um, this will go on for the rest of their days and it's a wonderful organization to to be involved with and I'm very proud to be one of their ambassadors. So, uh, yeah, if you if you need some uh, 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 a chance to give to make someone's life better, this is a great chance to do that. So, guitars for vets. So, I wrote this tune. It's called Blood Brother. <clears throat>
Sarah. Uh, this is a song that's really requested a lot, um, and as a composer, that makes me very happy. But uh, it's a piece I wrote uh, from deep, deep inside my soul, and um, the song's called Those Who Wait. <laughs>
All right, wish we did it. <laughs> All right, here's a here's a song from the uh, the new album, Tommy Songs um, album, and um, I, I I had flown from New York to Beijing and got into my hotel, and I got my guitar out, and it just sounded magical. I don't know why, but it just did. It sounded magical, and I started writing this song. And um, I'd been listening to some Asian music on the flight over, so I had some ideas going. Anyway, I got the song done, and I recorded it on my iPhone, on, um, on voice memos. And uh, I sent it back to California uh, to my wife. And I said to her, play this song to Rachel. And Rachel is our daughter. She was four last year, four years old. So I said, play it to Rachel and ask her, what is this music about? That's all, just to ask her. And she rang me back and she said, she listened to it and she said, it sounds like the white ocean. And uh, I thought, wow, what a title, what an idea. So here it is, the white ocean. Hope you like it.
All right, here's a fairly new song of mine. Uh, I wrote this song on a, on a train trip between France and Germany. Um, back in the old days when we could do that. Um, <laughs> I just uh, love the music in, in films like the Harry Potter films and Star Wars and stuff like that. And uh, it was so brilliant and so clever. And uh, so I, I started messing with this idea of... of uh, yeah. Started to get these kind of cinematic sounding chords and um, some ideas flowing. So the song uh, took me a couple of hours to get it together, but uh, here it is. I hope you like it. It's called Fuel.
There it is. Fuel. <coughs> All right. One, two, one, two.
This is a song I wrote back in the 90s, and uh, back when I had hair and teeth, and it was a while back now. So here it is, Stay Close to Me. Ask for gas.